Hello Inkscape watchers and welcome to a top 10 list of things I fixed this week. First of all, I want to give a big shout out to all of my Patreons. Thank you so much for supporting my Inkscape development. And since we are in the big freeze, this week has been completely filled with me looking at problems, trying to fix them. If you have an issue with Inkscape, please let me know. I might not be able to fix it, but at least I can give you a big hug. So, without further ado, let's go down the top 10 things that I managed to fix, and in some cases, half fix this week. Number 10, we have extensions issue 220, which is the G-code repeating itself, I mean, repeating itself, when it tries to cut on certain settings. That is completely fixed. We have issue 843, the arrangement of columns and rows, when it keeps on trying to set itself again. So you get, end up with the same num num number. That's fixed. Uh, issue 1960, fixed width with dashes. This is one that is, a, that is definitely a partial fix. As they would say, it's supposed to be a full circle, not half. And I got it most of the way, but I've had to ask for reinforcements. So thank you very much uh, to Mawin, Mawin for helping me with the uh, the Liverot. I, I, I love that library name. It's so ridiculous, Liverot. Um, we had an issue with the new start screen where it would basically open up your templates as if they were real files. So you could save over your file by accident. Uh, that is fixed. Uh, we have 1841. The markers picks buff. This is where uh, markers were using a custom cell re renderer in order to produce little gra graphics that are in the drop drop down. This is not necessary, so that's been re removed and fixed. Uh, so now you can at least see uh, the option to uh, reset mar 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 markers so that you you don't have to have one. Um, we have tw <laughs> issue twenty forty one, which is. Things just won't stop snapping. Uh, this is a a not fixed yet, unfortunately. Um, this is an issue where uh, documents do not have the the correct information about whether the snapping option has been set or not. Um, it's related to action groups. Um, I've managed to clean the code. It progresses it in the in the right direction, I think. So that uh, whatever the issue actually is, whatever it turns out to be, it should be easier to fix. Now, we have a objects dialog improvement where you couldn't uh, drag more than one option. Uh, that has been fixed, uh, some custom dra dragging code. Um, we have a, at number three, we have the objects di di dialog. I can't see what's clipped or masked. I've added a custom overlay. So like the uh, icons that you appear that say whether it is a rectangle or a certain circle will now overlay the fact that they have been clipped or masked. Um, so I'm considering that one fixed, although there is more to do. Uh, at number two, we have the crash when you close the CSS selectors in the dialog. It was watching you. It was watching you when you closed it. It was watching you when you opened it. It just would not stop watching you. So I've uh, put the watcher destructor into the into the dialog destructor. And then at number one, the most face palming error that is my fault. The new modifiers fun functionality, issue 2050, did not save the settings that you put in when you set new modifiers because I did not write any of the code necessary to save the modifiers. Um, so I fixed that by implementing the feature that it was, I kind of made the assumption that I'd already written it and for some reason I hadn't. Uh, so that's completely fixed. Um, and that uh, that gives you the top 10 fixes or partial fixes this week. Uh, next week, I'll be wor working on more of these. Uh, let me know if you have particular issues. We will be having a developers meet meeting to prioritize things. So I will be working on things that have the most pr priority or affect the most us users as is possible. Um, please like, subscribe, and uh, thank you very much for listening this week.